Luna Classic community continues to expand. It continues to get bigger, and I hope you guys are part of it. 5.5 million people now hold Luna Classic tokens, and that's a significant amount. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, uh, the like button, the bell to be notified of future content. Let's kick this off. We're going to start off with a little bit of news. The news is really kind of, uh, there's nothing really new. First up, as far as Duquan goes, no real news to cover there. Secondly, for price action, it's been kind of a dead two days. Nothing really new that's blowing up. There's no real need to discuss any of these other things. But we do have one topic that's rather important right now. This is the list of KYC Luna Classic devs. And I want to show you how devious some of these people are when you consider what's going on up at the top of the validator list. So uh, since the KYC requirements are here to stay, I decided to compile, this is Lunk Rocket 02353, the list of individuals who have done their part and have KYC through a third party. Anyone who is willing to work for Lunk on L1 level is free to add themselves to this list. Here is the list as of 329. Uh, number one, Frag, Frag Verdig. Uh, then you have Strathcole. Then you have Expert Dicer. Then you have Dong Lu. Then you have Fam Min. Uh, and then you have, we didn't, and this is a, a note here. Feel free to add the devs. And it says, we didn't lose devs. We gained devs since KYC. Frag Strath are still here also. Then if we pay him, tax to gas will be resubmitted this week with KYC. So the group is actually bigger than it was before. And people are not afraid of being KYC. The only people afraid of being KYC. Uh, again, I'm not KYC. You don't KYC to me. You don't KYC to somebody who's a holder. You KYC to a third party. And that third party controls the information. And it's very possible that nobody ever knows. But for privacy, security, and protection, you would need to be verified in some way. Doesn't that seem obvious at this point? Despite the fact that there are people who do not want to KYC themselves because they say that it compromises their job or uh, their security or something like that. And they still want to work. Well, I mean, that's... That's a problem with you and your employer, right? That's not a problem with you and Luna Classic. You got to get right with whomever it is that, that you draw your income from. That's not uh, the, the Luna Classic community's fault. And if your passion and your part-time is the Luna Classic community, then KYC yourself to somebody who's trustworthy that won't reveal who you are and your problem is solved. And there are plenty of different companies that are out here that would be able to do that, like solid proof. So there's really no excuse at this point to to, uh, to do this, other than the fact that you just don't like the, the fact that uh, you want people to just, hey, bro, just trust me. You know what I mean? Uh, it, that's basically the way. So uh, here we are. Now let's move on. We're going to check out a little price action, uh, see what's going on with the market. And now the market is a little bit, uh, I want to say wonky right now, but uh, let's check this out on the uh, on the chart. And you guys let me know what you think. All right, guys. So um, I simplified this chart just a little bit for you. Uh, that green box right here is the zone of control that we're in usually uh, for the last little while. This right here is the zone of control that we were at previously. Uh, we don't really have a big impulse move that's kind of broken out or come up, except that we got into this point of control. We had a strong bounce off of this point of control, and then we moved back into that little green box area for that next little range. But we did not get accepted into that range, and we got rejected. Then uh, we got a retest, but we're coming down. Now, uh, when you look at it in the long term, you know, basically what you're looking at is this kind of uh, move right here that you know we're, we're just kind of coming up with um lower highs uh, but we're coming up with higher lows as well on this time frame right here so it is possible that we're on the move up uh this is uh, a little bit wonky you may see uh some downside movement from this i don't think that you will there's, there's a lot of good information a lot of cool stuff happening in the background that we're going to be covering in the next bunch of days that you'll start to see manifest itself uh, so, it, you know, it could be that we're looking at a, a fantastic move towards that upside. Now, again, I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit more because when you kind of move around a little bit, you'll see that that point of control, once I remove that previous one, uh, and, and this, by the way, what I'm doing here is I'm doing this with uh, VRVP, which is why you're seeing that blue line, that, that big blue line move around, and it gives you your point of control for the range. Uh, again, this is just the volume of trading that's going on on this chart at, at a specific time. So uh, that's why you see it kind of move around just a little bit here and there because I move this chart out. So uh, another test of 
this range here most probably coming in at around 17, 18. It's a question of getting accepted. And the acceptance right here comes from the repeg. Now, we've had discussions about the repeg. So, you know, we'll try to figure out what's best here. Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section. So make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20 x on k9 finance 7x on weave on block jerk uh if you get if you put a stake into this system right here it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards go check this out to and figure out what that next method or what that next piece is uh, i gave you my idea of what a repeg would look like about two days ago uh, some people actually took it and ran with it and started to put it in the hands of people who actually do programming and stuff like that. I don't know if they're going to reach out to me. I was just giving an idea. I don't want to be at the forefront of this repeg thing. It's not it's not my lane. If I if I come up with an idea and the idea works, it's not my idea. It's just it, it was what the obvious idea was at that point. I don't even know if what I came up with was functional to begin with. Um something like that probably have to go on test center. We'd have to see exactly how it plays out and uh there could be there could be some problems because most of the volume is on um, Binance and there's a lot more volume now on weeks than there were before. So, you know, some of that volume right there doesn't really qualify for burns in that context. So somehow or another, you know, we got to figure out like, how can we, um, you know, how can we burn? Where can we burn from? Stuff like that. You know, there's pieces that we'll have to kind of put into place and they're not in place yet. So uh, as we kind of evolve this whole process and as we go through it, you know, we'll see how this all works out. And, you know, we'll see if Binance is on board because, you know, th there are some specific things that probably have to be addressed in this because, you know, if, if it's for, um, you know, if, it, if it's good for the community and I'm sure if it's good for Binance, they're going to do it. If it works very well, they're going to do it. Um, you know, it's just a matter of, I think that what we need is we need a more lively chain and we need people trading within the chain and we need that peg to the USTC to make it all happen. So, um, you know, let's, uh, let's listen to see what happens here. And then hopefully this is going to be a fantastic move. And, uh, you know, if it is, then we'll let you know, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. You guys have a good day and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.